you want to hear my story. Yeah. <laughs> Offices right next to each other. Found a job in Cleveland, and her office was right next to mine. And we started, you know, being office mates. It's easy to just kind of, you know, go over and talk to somebody and hang out. And yeah, at first I thought she was married. I had, you know, pictures of my nieces up, and so he was like, oh, well, you know, he's married. She's married. She always, she always wore a ring, and she had pictures of her nieces. I figured out they're just her daughters, and yeah, you know, I mean, I talked a little bit, but I, you know, she's married. She's got kids. Like, oh, she's gonna. Like, I don't want to talk to her or whatever. So it was just like very cordial. He found out they were the nieces and not my kids and that I was not married even though I always, forever and ever, always wore a ring on this hand. Forever. Found out she just liked that ring and she wore it on her ring finger and she was single. So and Not married, doesn't have kids. I'm all in for trying to get this girl. <laughs> An amazing day, amazing couple. Radiant smile. <laughs> In consideration, they have decided to live their lives together as husband and wife. Real love is something beyond the warmth and glow, the excitement and the romance of being deeply in love. Because love makes burdens lighter because you divide them. It makes joys more intense because you share them. In the words of Robert Browning, grow old along with me and the best is definitely yet to be. If you haven't guessed, this is really exciting. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually pretty awesome. <laughs> There's a lot of happiness going on. One thing led to another, and here we are almost four years later. So <laughs> so we kind of you know, started hanging out a little bit outside of work, and beer, and some more wings, and we just kind of like chatted, and we both, I think, from that point, and I were like, okay, we actually really have a lot in common, and we really like each other. And so, you know, here we are. We're starting to date, and now, you know, four years later, we're, we're here. <laughs> the, words <laughs> the words I say to you now. The words I say to you now. Are the ones that I have waited a lifetime to speak. Are the ones that I've waited a lifetime to speak. The words I say to you now. The words I say to you now. Are the ones that I have waited a lifetime to speak. Are the ones that I've really waited a lifetime <laughs> to speak. <laughs> <laughs> There's a story behind that, I can yes. feel it. Please accept this ring. Please accept this ring. As a permanent symbol of my commitment. As a permanent symbol of my commitment. It's pretty good. <laughs> As a permanent symbol. As a permanent symbol. Of my commitment. Of my commitment. It is. is it all the it's way on? Because it doesn't count if it doesn't count. It's all. They're <laughs> a little swollen, but that's <laughs> Well, I think our first official date, I, I think I cooked dinner for her. We had kind of been going out a little bit, but I think that was sort of the official first date. He asked me over to dinner at his house. Everything planned and set for the night. Uh, he had a bottle of wine, like everything was, it was perfect. Yeah, he was all like, this is the girl, I'm gonna try to get her. <laughs> okay, well let's go pick out your diamond. So we drove right back up to Jared. And we had designed the ring, so she knew I had the ring. And she'd been waiting and waiting, and she thought I was gonna propose when we came up here. And that was one of my options. And she was a little upset. <laughs> Cause she, I kept waiting, I kept waiting, I kept waiting because I knew he had it. I kept waiting, kept waiting, kept waiting. We had a couple like disagreements. I was like, okay, when are you gonna do it? When are you gonna do it? It was really actually very sweet in the way that he did it because it was, it was perfect. It was everything that I could have asked for. Because I wanted his his blessing, and I hadn't gotten it at that point. I know how important it was for me to ask your dad. Uh, for your hand in marriage, he's like, I couldn't think of any better place than to do it with him here, will you, will you be my wife? And of course I said yes. <laughs> Every time we go, there's an eagle flying around. I'm like, that's dad. Oh my God! <laughs> she just got it. I was like, oh my God, it was just perfect. And so, yeah. It does give me the greatest of pleasure to pronounce that you are husband and wife. <laughs> please, please kiss your bride. <laughs>